blustery Saturday morning. I hope this mic's right. Um, I wanted a, an extension job today. Um, take you in and show you. We've just got a few bits for now. It's obviously it's, uh, pebble dashed, but this is insulation. There's the original wall. <coughs> so we're doing concrete commons up to DPC today and tomorrow, depending on the weather. And then it's going to be rendered. But it'd be a traditional build, it'd be block and rendered and it, with the insulation inside the cavity. Obviously this is a retrospectively insulated. So this is our job. Concrete's nice and high, so no, um, no trenches. It's not in courses, but we can cut the frogs off the brick. Uh, I think it's about 10 foot out. About five meters wide. And it's all concrete commons. And it's gonna have a suspended timber floor. So all our gear's been brought in for us. C cement, bricks, sand, so we'll get cracking on. Our local picking up some uh, a few bits while it's peeing down. Got our insulation, got our insulation, got our periscopic vents. For, it's a suspended floor, uh, and we're just going to pick up 40 odd blocks just just to get us a start tomorrow. Once we're up to damp, it's forecast dry tomorrow, so we'll um, got some blocks just in case we get on that side. So here we go. <laughs> and it's pissing down. Yeah. 
Last customer's not even out and he's gone. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna know. Huh. No one's closed the gates. Where's another car going? Not leaving it to us, are they? Oh, he's closing up. What? Right, who's going next? That's our stuff loaded. Um, we're just going to um, dip into Tool Station on the way home to pick up a light we got yesterday because we're going to board out the loft, um, which is done with all stuff out the skip at work. Um, that's another one of my catchphrases. Um, um, um. What, um? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, it seems to say. Because I never have a script. Yeah, we're on our way to Old Skirk. Pick up the light. And then, it's forecast this all day now, so we're just going to sack it today. We're all loaded out, we're set out. All the gears are, mixers are. We're going to leave the blocks in the van. Got our insulation that we didn't really need till next week, but it's done now. So that's it. Early dart. So it means we're working all day tomorrow. And then it gives them a chance to um, put in the suspended floor during the week then. Hopefully for us to come back at the weekend and carry on. At least we're not doing any slab prepping or concrete until... Here's a new road layout in Persco. Big stuff happening on here. Mm. Persco Industrial Estate. Mm. It's a local tool hire place, it doesn't open on a Saturday. This is a bit of a pain, it's good to do me going in there. Shoes grey. Very expensive. And then, just up here. This, this used to be um, an airfield by the way, HMS Retail is called, and there's JM Steel, that's where we get all our steels from, that's where all the brick-tongued stuff came from.
we'll have to cut that, but it's out of our way anyway. That's just... Right, mm -hmm. oh, there's the original. Um, finish on the house, pebble dash, and then got like a wet end on top, and then fix this stuff, insulation, and this mesh, and then rendered it just to get the houses warmer. So we're just going back to something solid so we can tie into it. I think it's all coming off inside the, the room, give a bit of extra room in the room. Right, we've got our lines set up, we marked it all out yesterday. This is our side wall. We've got to cut the insulation back. So we need to go back about 10 mil off the line. Trim that up. That's for our cut. Right, we're all set up, lines up, marked out. Alex is getting cracking on his corner. So it's solid now to work against. Definitely not heard usual sand, this is it. Pardon? It's definitely not Phil's usual sand. Tie wires on three. Pardon? We put tie wires on the third. Third? Yeah.
use your lines for um, changing it now. They're not fun with this stamp, are they? Pardon? They're not fun with this stamp. I'm not really noticing. Do you know the reason you have to be extra careful with commons, Al? Huh? Do you know the re reason why you have to be extra careful with keeping the commons clean? No. Oh. Because you can't clean the brick acid. Do they? They get concrete out of Do you know? Brick acid attacks cement. 
Alright. That's your bricks. Join these after work tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's it, one corner up. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> it's going to take a long while to joint that. Bricks are damp. But the stuff's pretty stiff, but that's our DPC level on the outside. Alex just on with his now, so I'm going to set up a line on this, this side. Just nail a batten to the wall. And once we're up to DPC, I can start, I can put the intermediate profiles on for the block work. So I'll get this set up now.
Yeah. Yeah. Big sweeping brush. Mm, it'll go in but with very like no, next to no joints. Right, that's fine. It's buried anyway. Hopefully that mix will be enough. Hmm? Hopefully that mix is gonna be enough. Yeah. Front and side up. Done pretty well. So just this side to do now. And then uh, got a bit of a lump in it. So it's knocking the plug off the brick. Why do you need it?
that's it four o'clock just just got done a couple of vents in each side make sure they've got airflow right through because it's a timber suspended floor there's the um, we've left that down 140 from the top so that's 140 for the joist and then I think 18 or 22 mil for the floorboard which is going to go bring it up this level so you can cut the sill out and this floorboard can go through two and a half bricks short with the mortar which we probably could have done if we could get the crap out of the cavity at the bottom but it's only 75 mil cavity so the can't get the troweling we're doing 75 mil cavity to save space 